Hello and welcome to our online worship for the second Sunday of Advent. My name's Jo Neary and I'm the team vicar in the Bemminster team. Um, it's <laughs> been a busy week. It's always a busy week, but it's been amazing because we've held this fabulous Nativity Festival at Bemminster and it was just glorious. Glorious to see uh, the wonderful Nativity sets lent. Thank you so much if that was you. Um, beautiful, all different, amazing things. I'll get Harry to put some photos on the film so you can see. But just beautiful, beautiful things and really intriguing and drew people in. Um, and everyone was peering into the Christmas story and I just think that's marvellous. Um, so thank you so much and we've had a wonderful time with lots of different events, messy church, a film, a lovely launch event on the Friday night with our partners from Prout Bridge. Uh, and Prout Bridge are doing a crowdfunding project at the moment. Prout Bridge is our community and youth charity in Bemminster. Um, they, uh, we haven't met our funding goals this year, which has made the end of the year a really tight for us. Uh, and unless we can raise some money quickly, we're going to have to reduce our services next year, which we really don't want to do. Our services impact people in the community who are most vulnerable. Um, Prout Bridge is where our food bank is located. It's where our children's uh, youth clubs are located. There's a toddler group there for younger mums that runs there. The CAB come to the Prout Bridge. We have a, a cafe create on a Thursday. There's so much going on. And the last thing we want to do is stop it. Um, because, of course, in this kind of time of austerity and problems with money, um, it is the people who have uh, the least in our communities who need our help the most. And so we really, really do need your help. So if you can help us by pledging money to our crowdfunder or if you know of people who would want to make a significant donation to our charity, uh, do please put them in touch with me. Um, and the crowdfunder details are on our website as well. Thank you so much. So second Sunday of Advent, uh, we have a contribution for our reflection from David Campbell, who's the chaplain at Sherburn School. Jackie Bush from Netherbury has led our intercessions. Uh, she's written them for me and I'm going to pray them on her behalf. Uh, and the rest of it is me. It's good to be with you and good to worship. God summons the innocent. God summons the guilty. God summons us with love. God welcomes the poor. God welcomes the powerful. God welcomes us with love. God judges the just, God judges the faithful, God judges us with love. Like Abraham and Sarah laughing, like Jacob wrestling for a blessing, keep us keeping on. Like Hannah praying in the temple, like Noah building, built, building boats in the wilderness, keep us keeping on. Like Moses challenging injustice, like Joseph and Mary listening to angels, keep us keeping on. On. So we sing our Advent
come to our prayers of penitence. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. We pray, Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore to us the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray the collect prayer for the second Sunday of Advent. O Lord, raise up your power, we pray, and come among us and with great might succour us that whereas through our sins and wickedness we were grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory, now and for ever. Amen. We listen to our reading. A reading from the Gospel of St Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptised by him in the River Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. David leads us in a reflection on today's reading. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you're listening and watching into this today. All around me here uh, in Sherburne, outside my office windows, I can hear the excited voices of young children rushing into the Abbey Church for yet another rehearsal for their nativity service, which will be at the end of the week. And there's something quite wonderful, really, about seeing the excitement which such a time as this can generate amongst young people. There is really a wonderful sense of expectation of looking forward not just to the end of another long term, but to a real festive period of rejoicing, of gladness, of celebration, no doubt, for many of them. They look forward. John the Baptist, whose coming we call to mind on this Sunday in Advent, looked forward. He was one who came to prepare the way of the Lord, in the tradition of the prophets of the Hebrew Scriptures, he was one who came to make the path straight for the coming of the expected one, the one whom the Jews of that time thought would be the Messiah, who would free them from the bondage in which they were kept by those who occupied their land. It's funny how... With the passing of the years, so much changes and yet so little changes. We still have an expectation of conflict in that part of the world in which Jesus of Nazareth was born and raised and died. Right to this very day, and it's brutal and it's unpleasant and it is barbaric at times. 
Where is the voice of the one crying in the wilderness today? Where are the voices crying out for peace in our time? For an end to conflict? For a building up of that which has been ruined? For a recovery of the desolation that has been wrought on the people of that part of God's creation? Will there be a voice in the wilderness in your day and mine calling for such a restoration? And will there be the strength, the power, the willingness to rebuild the ancient ruins so that all may find themselves living in love and peace with each other and God's kingdom may more fully come on earth as it is in heaven. We affirm our faith using the words of the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. We pray our intercessions which were written today by Jackie. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, as once again we prepare for Christmas, help us to find time in our busy lives for quiet and thought and prayer, that we may reflect upon the wonder of your love and allow the story of the Saviour's birth to penetrate our hearts and minds. So may our joy be deeper, our worship more real, and our lives worthier of all that you have done for us through the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Come, Lord Jesus, come as peace and open the hearts and minds of those in authority who are spreading war across the world. Help them to understand that eventually everything will be solved only with conversations and the love of fellow human beings. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Come, Lord Jesus, come as power and send your Holy Spirit into our churches and lead and guide the Beminster team towards unity. Inspire David and all who lead worship to reach the many who will only come to church this Christmas, leading them to the true meaning of the birth of Jesus Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Come, Lord Jesus, as healer reaching out to all who are unwell in body, mind or spirit. And we name in our hearts those known to us. We pray for the homeless and any who feel unloved, many for whom Christmas is an additional financial strain. Bless volunteers who give freely of their time to run food banks, drop-in centres and who support friends and neighbours. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Come, Lord Jesus, as hope for the future of your world that we have spoiled. Lead us towards better stewardship and care for the planet so that all flora and fauna will regenerate and thrive anew. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Come, Lord Jesus, come as light in the dark places of our lives. Forgive the many times we fall short of your standards. Shine in our nation, giving courage and guidance to politicians and councillors. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Come, Lord Jesus, come among us as love and joy this Advent. Increase our longing for Christ and give us the strength to grow in love so the dawn of his coming may find us rejoicing in his presence 
and welcoming the light of his truth. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. So we join our thoughts and prayers together in the words that Jesus taught us praying. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We walk into the wilderness searching for meaning. May God baptise us with mercy and fire. We walk in the cities thirsting for justice. May God baptise us with integrity and hope. We walk towards Bethlehem seeking a saviour. May God baptise us with holiness and joy. And may the blessing of God Almighty, our judge, maker, saviour and Holy Spirit, Come upon us now and remain with us forever. Amen. Our Lord says, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for worship on this second Sunday of Advent. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.